I removed giant nasty ticks off of a snake that was found wild here in South Florida. I don't ensure that they're dead well. You just fill up a little cup like this with alcohol. I'm just gonna reach my hand in here. I've been doing this for a while. I'm pretty fearless when it comes to this. Come here right now and pull the snake out. Oh my goodness, look at this. A gorgeous white California king snake. Under the scale, you can see it's creating a little bit of a red area. And if we leave the tick, well, it's just gonna get really large. So we're just gonna slowly pull it. One, two, all right, we almost got him, look at that. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well of course today's video was absolutely insane. For today's video I removed giant nasty ticks off of a snake that was found wild here in South Florida and was covered in these nasty ticks. Guys, I know all of you love the tick videos. You love me pulling the ticks off the tortoises. Well guys, today we are pulling ticks off of a snake. Now this is actually the second time I've done this. The first time was here with an invasive python, but this was with a different kind of snake today. It was crazy, guys. If you guys want to see me pull ticks off snakes, well, you guys are in the right place. But before we do that, well, we have got a new enrichment toy. We've got a setup for Baby Roo. Guys, I just got back from my front gate. We've got a really cool package right there for Roo the lemur. If you guys have been following the channel, you will know that Roo the lemur is growing up just so fast. She is literally becoming a big lemur girl right in front of my eyes. It's absolutely amazing to be able to raise these animals up. And as she's getting older, she's starting to climb more. She's starting to become more mobile. So we have got to get her kind of acclimated to actually climbing and being comfortable gripping surfaces up high. So what better way to do that than actually getting her her very own cat tree. So cat trees are a great thing for monkeys. They absolutely love them. So we just got this whole set on Amazon. When it's uh, fully set up, um, that right there is what it's gonna look like. And yeah, we're gonna set it up now. And here it is. We've got the perch set up. This thing is absolutely amazing. We ordered this on Amazon. And this is the perfect platform to get Rue acclimated to climbing. She can come here, she can play with this little dangly thingamajigger bobber. She has a little rope for climbing. She can go up here, take a little nap, and then she has all different heights. So she can start down low, she can start at the middle, go to the high, and even the highest point right here. So now that I assembled my incredible lemur enrichment tree, well guys, there's only one thing left to do. We gotta take it over to her room and see if she likes it. The perch is in the room. It's looking absolutely amazing. And this room is currently in the process of being transformed into incredible jungle room for baby animals. I just installed this AC unit right here. So now we have full air conditioning and heat in here. We gotta kind of fill up the the holes and we're still in the process. It's still a construction site, but we gotta let little baby Roo out right now. Come here, baby Roo. Come here, little girl. Come on. Hop up. Hop up. Hop up. We got little baby Roo right here. She's up on the shoulder. Say hi. You want to say hi? Hey, hey, how's it going? So Roo, we're going to introduce you to the cat tree right here. So we're just going to take her off the shoulders. I've got Roo off the shoulders right here. And we're actually just going to put her right here on the ground. You want to go? Oh no, she's a little scared of it. Are you scared of it, Roo? Roo, are you scared? You want to go back in there? But look. Look, check this out. Check this out. Check out your perch. There you go. There you go, crazy monkey. So Rue right now has no idea what this is. She's going to be very investigative, very curious, kind of sniffing around and seeing what this thing is. Oh, and she just jumped on me. I guess uh, Rue wanted uh, nothing to do with that thing. Oh, Rue's found her toy. She's already chewing on it. Now that's metal right there, but Rue is really not going to bite it. She's just going to kind of test it out and see, but it looks like she has found her favorite part of this thing. Look at that. That thing's fun. Guys, it is safe to say that Rue absolutely loves her new tree. And now that you guys got to see me set up the little tower for Rue, she absolutely is loving it. Well, guys, we've got to go pull some ticks off snakes. One hour later. Guys, I just got over here to Mario's house and we are getting ready to actually remove ticks from this king snake. So before we open the bag, before I pull this snake out, well guys, we have got to prepare our little tick mixing solution. So basically what we're going to do is when we pull the ticks off, we need a place to put them. So I'm actually going to open this up right here. Rubbing alcohol is the best thing you can use for ticks. So if you got ticks on your rabbit, your dog, your cat, and when you pull them off, if you want to ensure that they're dead, well, you just fill up a little cup like this with alcohol, you put them in it, and the ticks are gonna die because the ticks are really bad. They can make your animals anemic. They could, it could kill them. Ticks are just a pest that no one likes and no one wants. So we've got our little solution prepared here now. Mario's not home right now, and I thought he was gonna have hemostats. This is what hemostats look like. I was gonna use it to pull the ticks off. He's not here, I don't have any, so guys, we're gonna be using our fingers today to remove these ticks. Now, 
I haven't handled this snake. Some king snakes can be quite aggressive. Now this king snake in specific, I was told, was found just wandering a neighborhood. So this is most likely either a dumped pet or an escaped pet. A lot of people here in South Florida, when they don't want an animal anymore, they actually just go and dump it out in the Everglades. They let it go in their yard and that creates invasive species. So guys, I'm here. Let me look at the snake. I haven't seen a picture of it. All I know is that there's a snake covered in ticks and I said, well, if we gotta film this, I gotta show all of you guys. And wow, this snake is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm just gonna reach my hand in here. I've been doing this for a while. I'm pretty fearless when it comes to this stuff. So we're just going to come here right now and pull this snake out. Oh my goodness, look at this. A gorgeous white California king snake. Look at this snake right here, absolutely gorgeous. And if you look at his body, Unfortunately, he has got several ticks on him. You guys can see there's some ticks right here and looks like there was a tick right there before where it's a red spot and look, oh my gosh, up by his neck there's a bunch of ticks right here and there could even be even more micro ticks underneath the scales. That's the problem when snakes like this get ticks, fleas, or mites is they'll actually go right up under the scale. Now I wish this snake wasn't as, as movie as he is because we've got to remove these ticks. Look how gorgeous this snake is. What a great animal. And guys, if you're looking for a good pet snake, king snakes make great pets. And the reason why they call them king snakes is because part of their main diet is actually eating other snakes out in the wild. It's absolutely amazing. Here in Florida, we have Florida kings, but this is the typical kind of king snake you'll find over in California. So now that we've checked this guy out, what an absolutely gorgeous snake, guys. We don't have a name for him yet, so comment down below a name for him. And well, we're gonna get started. We're gonna start pulling these ticks off right here. And I think I'm gonna start with this tick right here. Look at this tick right here under the scale. You can see it's creating a little bit of a red area and if we leave the tick well it's just gonna get really large so we're just gonna slowly pull it one two all right we almost got him look at that we've got tick number one right here and we're gonna put the tick right here in the cup we're just gonna put them right in we've got tick number one now I am not sure how many ticks are on this snake so guys comment down below how many ticks do you think is on this snake it doesn't seem to be a ton but there is definitely a lot of ticks more than we want because we want no ticks so we're just going to bring this guy right over here and we've got to find these other ticks now this snake is moving like crazy so we're going to come here look at these two ticks right here looks like we have brother and sister ticks they're not too big maybe the size of about a grain of rice maybe a little smaller so we've gotten one right here and this one i actually want to pop this one so we're just going to squeeze them right here on the concrete we're going to put them down and we're going to see the blood oh look at that that black sludge that's the typical coagulated blood that you'll find inside of the ticks so we've got that tick there we've gotten another tick we're gonna pull it one two okay we've gotten that one that one is going inside of our cup we've got two ticks and I want to check under the scales to see what we have all I see is irritated skin it's a little bit red where those ticks were and buddy thank you so much for cooperating not trying to attack me and bite me while we're doing this what an absolutely gorgeous animal right here so now that we remove three of the ticks well guys we got to search for more there's definitely one up by his head so we're gonna come right up here to this guy right here and you can see there's just a micro baby tick right here you can just see a black dot but look when I kind of squeeze you can see his body is exposed and I'm gonna bring my fingers and look at that. We pulled him off, he's moving. He is so tiny. I mean, this is probably the world's smallest tick right here. So we're gonna bring this fourth tick right here and we're just gonna put it on in, into the alcohol. Oh my gosh, he's, he's sticking up. Guys, he's stuck to my finger. He might be trying to suck my blood. Well, we've removed, I think, four ticks. How many ticks have we removed, Lance? Four. Four? Okay, guys, there's a fifth tick right here. This guy does not want me getting close to his face. He seems a little bit nervous. He could try and strike, but there's another one right here. We're gonna come here, and I'm gonna hold him up, and I'm just gonna grab the tick, pull it off, guys. We're gonna pop him. I wanna see what he looks like on the inside. Oh, look at that. The black sludge blood of a tick. Now, guys, don't pop ticks. I mean, this snake definitely is not diseased, so I'm, I don't mind doing it, but guys, yeah. Don't do this at home. Well, we've removed four of the ticks so far, and guys, unless there's a tiny micro tick underneath the scale, well, I don't see any more ticks on him. But even though we removed all the ticks, there's still a couple health exams we want to do for this guy. We want to check his mouth for mouth rot. A lot of snakes on the inside of their gums will have yellow mouth rot. So I'm just going to come right here. I'm going to grab him like this. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my phone out just like this. This is a little trick we do in the snake world. Okay, don't knock that over. You can see I'm just lightly holding him. I'm not holding him down. But basically, you take a credit card. Whoa, we don't want to show my ID. We've got, we take a, oh, well, yeah, I probably shouldn't show my credit card either. 
Well, I'm not gonna show my credit card or my ID, so we're just gonna use my Apple card. This is actually metal. So the easiest way you can actually get in a snake's mouth to actually look is by taking the credit card and kind of opening it up just a little bit. I'm actually just gonna use my fingers and his gums look to be nice and healthy. This is kind of the typical routine that we'll use when kind of examining a snake to see if he's healthy. There's a couple things you look for. You make sure there's no ticks or fleas, mites, as well as mouth rot. His gums seem to be absolutely perfect. And well guys, I think this snake right here is tick free. Guys, it's absolutely amazing that, we, that we're able here to help these animals. And if I'm sounding a little bit raspy, well it's because I got a sinus infection. But even though I'm sick, I'm here taking care of the animals because even when I'm sick, the animals gotta get taken care of. We've gotta save them. And well, that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video where we took this gorgeous king snake and removed all of the ticks that are on him. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below a name for this crazy snake right here. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see us pull more ticks off animals. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell, and you all will be notified whenever I post.